Power to the people. Power to the people. My name is Nat Bender. I live on the west end of town here. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, uh... Yes, sir. And, uh, power to the people. Power to the people. My name is Nat Bender. I live on the west end of town here. Yes. Yes, sir. And uh, the life to keep Plainfield in good standard or respect and high morality. Remember those names. I remember those victims that have been in the crossfire. The hand of the devil and the drugs paraphernalia in Plainfield. But anyway, I really appreciate the moment that we are living in Plainfield. I'm really grateful for the moment that we're standing here. In I want to say enough is enough. As a community, as a brother in the city of Plainfield, as a resident in the city of Plainfield, yes, enough is enough. Yes. And too much mega dog sick. And we got to put a God bless you. Let us come together as one. One people. One race of people. The human race. We are losing one another. Galatians chapter 5 verses 13, 14, and 15 lets us know that God has called us to be free, but not to use our freedom to indulge the sinful nature, but rather to serve one another in love. To serve one another in love. Because if we keep on biting and devouring each other, we're gonna be destroyed. I have before you today a poem the Lord has blessed me to write years ago. It is called My Brother, My Brother. It's relating to the drugs that we're poisoning one another with. My brother, my brother, what's up? What's wrong? My brother, you're clocking too much, too long. Don't you remember the lyrics of the mother's song? My brother, my brother, you know right from wrong. What's up with the sale on the corner avenue? Where goes all the discipline distributed to you? Don't you know responsibility of that soul belongs to you? My brother, my brother, what you gonna do? See, judgment day is fastly approaching. Yet, still and all, you're vastly coaching. Your brothers and sisters to an early grave. My brother, you've made that soul a slave. Come on, dear brother. Cut the game loose. Don't do it for me. Do it for the slave and you. My brother, my brother, what you gonna do? We gotta trust our creator in this day. We need him. He created us humans. We are all humans. We are not to be gunned down. We are not to be robbed of our lives. We are not to have our children robbed of their lives. Stop the violence. Stop the drugs. Unity now. Yeah. Unity now. 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 Just remember, if we keep on biting and devouring each other, we're gonna be destroyed. As they keep continuing to say, stop the violence. I thank God for POP. I thank God for every member of POP, and I thank God for everyone who works with POP. Back in 2001, we didn't have POP here in the city of Plainfield. 2002, we didn't have POP as strong as we are here in the city of Plainfield. Years ago, when my daughter was shot, gunned down an innocent bystander, there was no one to help me. When we shut down the bar, that was, she was the 44th violent crime victim. We can't continue to sit here and say, what can someone do? What can this one do? What that can that one do? We all have a plan that we can do something. I'm not going to sit down and beat people up for what they're not doing or what they are doing. I'm here to do what I need to 
to uh, lobby against the uh, against laws and legislation right. needs to continue to pass. I am so tired of hearing about cold cases. If anybody ever knew anything after 14 days, and no one has ever found anyone that shot the person or the gun, that's considered by law a cold case. My daughter was shot over nine years ago, and that's considered a cold case. We're getting ready to do something and bring in some people to bring them bodies that are laying in the grave and the people walking up and down the street with them guns and walking in and out the jail and bend them guns to them. This is the only city that doesn't do anything. I can't say who's not doing what. But I'll tell you, I met somebody that the case was 17 years old, and he locked him up in another state, and when he locked him up, the man said, I am so grateful, because it's finally over, but it took him 17 years, and he wasn't going to turn himself in. So you know what I'm saying? I don't understand with the 10 people, they had mothers. I'm a mother, and I'm a single mother, and I have my daughter. And when they shot my daughter, they shot me. They hurt me. And they hurt the rest of the family. Listen, there's a law in the books that says that I am yet still a victim. Because when you shoot my child, I am yet still a victim. Right. We've got 10 victims right. and 10 families that are victims. Right. Who's reaching out to the families besides yeah. the streets? That's right. When they reach out for you, then you're going to reach back for them. And if you don't have the mind, and some people say the mind of Christ, God knows which way you're going to go. That's right. I'm going to tell you. When they shot my daughter, I leaped on women. I fought them just like I would have fought somebody, and I was out there selling drugs. I jumped up on them girls. I leaped on them, and I thank God that I didn't get arrested. And I'm not but big as your finger, but I'm strong as an ox when you get mad. But I had to turn that negativity into positivity. And then I began to turn it so positive, I came after the people that orchestrated it, the bar. And I followed their lifestyle. And you have to really learn and educate yourself. Yeah. We can't keep fighting everybody. I can't blame right. the mayor. Okay. I want to join in with the mayor. Let her join in with me. Okay. Come on, let's get down. Right. We can go on them projects. Right. We can argue all night long. Yeah. We can bounce all night long. Guess right. what? They don't hear you. Right. They don't hear you. As long as they got a pipeline in eastern Pennsylvania, which is 45 minutes from here, they never got to hear you. All, right. All, right. All you got to do right. is really, we all got to unify and join together. I can't blame the police. They don't know who just went to a straw sale. They don't know who pulling it out at night. And a lot of this is some simplified, stupid, un unreasonable situation. But when it come in your house, when it sleep in your bed, when you got to get it up out of their bed, right. when you got to feed right. them out of your house, right. and when it's hurting, yeah. what you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm going to march down in the projects and tell them to bring themselves out. You shot my daughter. I know you yeah. shot my daughter. You a coward, and she was innocent. And you just too much of a punk to say that you shot my daughter. Right. No. What you got to do is educate yourself. What you got to do is keep putting the floodlight on. When it's happening, where it's happening at. That boy not going to turn himself in that. Remember all those that gave their life to keep Plainfield in good standard or respect and high morality. Remember those names. And remember those victims that have been in the crossfire under the hand of the devil and the drugs paraphernalia in Plainfield. But anyway, I really appreciate the moment that we are living in Plainfield. I'm really grateful for the moment that we're standing here. In I want to say enough is enough. As a community, as a brother in the city of Plainfield, as a resident in the city of Plainfield, yes, enough is enough. Yes. And too much mega dog sick. And we got to put a stop to this. The Bible declares that God is a God of peace. That's right. And I believe yeah. In peace, yeah. I believe. It, I believe that if we come together as a community and as people, we can stop this violence. We can put it to a stop. Yes. Because the cemeteries is overflowing with our 
our young people. That's right. Our funeral homes is running over with our young people. So, order to put a stop to that, we have to come together and do something about it. We have to put a stop on these gun shootings. I want to say.